Joining us now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence is the cage announcer for Shamrock FC, and Shamrock's going to be returning on March the 12th for Shamrock FC Mayhem at the River City Casino in St. Louis. It's Stephen Bayer. Stephen, appreciate the time. First off, man. Thank you. First, thank you. First time we've had a chance to uh, talk. Uh, how, how long yeah. have you been involved in the uh, the mixed martial arts game here? Well, I tell you what, uh, I've been involved in uh, mixed martial arts before it was even called mixed martial arts, and uh, that was uh, back in the back in the late uh, 1980s and early 1990s. And uh, yeah, I've been around the fight business now for over 25 years. And my understanding is you were actually the best man for Tommy Morrison. Yeah, yeah, sure was, man. I grew up with him, and uh, he was the best man at my wedding, and. Yeah, I loved him uh, like a brother, man. He was uh, my brother from another mother, and, um, yeah, just a, a fantastic guy, great champion, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, wish he was uh, still with us today. Yeah, obviously everyone knows the story of Tommy, but for you, if, if there's one thing you wanted someone to know about about your friend, what would it have been? Well, that he was a human being. Um, you know, I think people forget that, you know, Uh you know, I mean, when uh, you're in Rocky Five with Sylvester Stallone at the age of 20, um, you know, you just kind of get swept up in this in this world. And, and then, of course, you know, defeating George Foreman in 1993 for the WBO heavyweight uh, title. You know, people put you on this pedestal and and, um, you know, they forget that uh, you're actually a human being. And so I, I had to deal with them on a human being level where uh, everybody else, you know, kind of put him up on this pedestal and, uh, you know, worshipped him as a uh, as a gladiator. So that would be the thing I, I think that I would want people to just uh, remember was that, uh, you know, he, he was just a human being and a, and, a, and a very kind heart. And for you, as a cage announcer, I mean, you get, you get one of the best seats in the house every, every time you're working an event. And you, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're working this Shamrock event. Let me just ask you, I mean, obviously, uh, yeah. you know, Jesse Finney's been promoting for a long time. You have seen yeah. a, a lot of fighters, you know, go through, you know, uh, you know, whether it's been boxing, kickbox or MMA, and, you know, is there any guy that really stands out to you that you just, you remember that they're fighting going and you just kind of walked away like, wow, that guy's going to be something. Well, you know, it's just kind of weird. I mean, uh, I, I'm a big, uh, Tito Ortiz fan, you know, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, that guy's, uh, Met him several times. Great guy, um, you know, as, as far as MMA, and he was kind of one of the, I guess, uh, you know, the bigger, uh, you know, guys that I, I got to know a little bit, and um, you know, just a, a just a great guy. I mean, you know, people uh, like to throw him under the bus, and you either love him or you hate him, but uh, I think I would fall into the love category. Is the hardest part of your job when uh, the the Shamrock card gets announced? Do you start going through it, going, okay, what names am I going to have a problem saying? Well, you know, that's kind of funny that you bring it up. I mean, I love multi-syllabic last names. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but uh, we, uh, yeah, every once in a while we'll have that name that comes across the radar. And, uh, you know, they're, they're from Czechoslovakia or, 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 or one of these uh, places where, um, yeah, it, it actually makes no sense whatsoever. And then uh, I'll have to stay up all night and practice that name so I don't get it wrong in the ring. Yeah, I've I've done that as a reporter where you're sitting there and you know you got that interview coming up and you're like, man, how you know how do you say this last name? I'll never forget how long it took me to uh, pronounce a Khabib Nurmagomedov. Took me a while, but, but once you once you get it down, it's like it's just like right off the tongue. Like one of the shows I do, me and my co-host, we just kind of joke when when you have that name, you just spit it out like you know what it is, so people don't think you're struggling with it. I know, isn't that funny? Yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, and and, and it's almost uh, like a sobriety test, isn't it? Oh yeah. So sometimes you look at these names. I, I remember back uh, in the old regime at Bellator, their, their PR guy. Every time they would sign a Russian, I call him up and go, "How do you pronounce this guy's name?" Yeah, and usually it, yeah, it, would, I know. it would take I mean, me a while. It's almost like you know, um, yeah. I mean, some of these names, you know, you look at it and you're just like going, you know, oh my gosh, man. I mean, uh, where where do you even begin? You know, you start flipping the piece of paper around to see if it actually makes sense. And let me ask you this. As the guy in the cage now, so we're sitting there watching, you know, whether it's Shamrock and our promotion, we see you holding that card. How much information right. do you got written on your card? Well, I mean, uh, you know, enough to announce the uh, the individual, uh, you know, obviously weight uh, is on there, heights on there, um, you know, what city they're from, um, you know, where they're training out of, uh, and, uh, and of course, their name, which is the most important. And, you know, and I, I, uh, 
I really love my job. I uh, always have um, because it gives me the opportunity to talk to the crowd, talk to the audience out there, whether it be on TV or whether it, you know it, it, it be in the uh, crowd right in front of me, and uh, and announce their name. And that's who they are. You know, they work so hard and they train so hard, so long. You know, for them to get into that uh, you know cage. You know, to do battle. And, uh, you know, the least I could do is to, uh, you know, announce their name correctly and announce it with uh, enthusiasm. And, um, and and that's what I do. Is the biggest misconception about your job is that people just think you show up literally uh, 20 minutes before the event sh- starts and they just <laughs> hand you a card? Yeah, no, I, they, yeah. And that's the whole thing. I, you know, for me, I've been doing it for so long now that, that, um, you know, I, I've kind of got a routine down. Uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people, you know, think, oh, that's got to be an easy job. But, you know, not, and unless you've had a microphone in front of, you know, tens or thousands of people staring at you like you owe them something, uh, you know, it's an armchair quarterback kind of uh, kind of a mentality. See, I never had that problem. Like, I remember being in college, you, you'd, I was in a speech class, and I see all these people nervous as can be. And I'm like, what's the big deal? You just stand up in front of people. You know, it's no big deal. <laughs> But I guess that's just my mentality. But I understand that there's legitimately people that if you sat there and said, hey, we got a crowd of 5,000 people, go stay in that cage and talk to them, they'd probably get pretty nervous. Well, yeah, they probably would. I, you, for me, um, I, I, I almost feel like I'm just one of the people out in the crowd, man. I'm such a big fan of the sport. Um, and, and I always step into the cage, uh, you know, with enthusiasm and, uh, and energy. And basically I'm just – saying what all the people out there are thinking and uh, hopefully saying it in a way and projecting uh, um, in a way that, uh, yeah, that, that, that is received uh, the way it was sent. What upcoming fights, I mean, not just for Shamrock, just in MMA, are you, that got you interested to say, you know what, no matter what, I'm getting in front of the television to watch that fight? Well, I tell you what, you know, it's, uh, man, I've been in and around this for so long. It's just a part of me. It's just who I am. And, and, and I think that, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are like me. It's just like one big, huge family. And, you know, you run into the same people, um, you know, in, in different spots in the country, in the world, um, just because it's just kind of in our in our makeup. And I, uh, I've always been a lover, not a fighter, but I've always had an appreciation for those guys that uh, do the training and do the hard work. And, you know, it was my way of being, you know, I guess a, a part of that was just that uh, I was a communications major and decided to, to, to make this a career. Yeah, just like yourself, I was a communication major a, a, as well. When you look at this fight card coming up here, Shamrock FC Mayhem, uh, Kevin Ingo and Kyle Kurtz, the, the main event. Uh, should be- so li- oh, my gosh, I know. Keep rolling those names because, I mean, this is going to be the biggest and the best show that Shamrock has ever done, guaranteed. I mean, hands down. Um, you know, you you just rattled off some 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 of the names, but it's it's it is going to be absolutely uh, unbelievable. And and these guys are coming in. They've all got game on. They're all winners. Um, you know, failure is not an option. Um, this is going to give the fight fans the most bang for the buck um, that we that we've ever done. And we've done great shows. I mean, that's. That's actually saying something because, you know, we've we've had great shows now for many years, and and this is kind of the culmination of all of those shows coming together, uh, where you know all of the stars are going to be aligned on March 12th at River River City Casino. I mean, we mentioned the main event, but it, you know, and you know that St. Louis MMA scene. Is there somebody on this card that? You know, maybe their name's not stuck out to people right now, but you, you look at that guy just based on some things you have seen inside the Shamrock Cage. You're like, man, you got you need to be watching out for this guy. Well, you know, I I have to come back to Engel, man. I mean, you know, people, you know, they 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 got a short term memory sometimes, man. But here's a guy who's got so much passion, and 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 absolutely every fiber of his being is is involved in this sport. That uh, and and you know you're talking St. Louis. I mean, hometown. Uh, this guy's uh, you know this guy's going to come. Uh, that's that's the fight out of all of them that I'm looking forward to announcing. And of course, uh, people can watch this on ShamrockFightingChampionships.com if they're not in the St. Louis yeah. area. Part of that Correct. internet pay per view, they they can hear you call the fights. Uh, final thing, got to ask you: when you have a title yeah. fight, 
How often do you practice saying and still or and new? <laughs> well, I tell you what, that's the that's the best word in the English language. You know, I mean, I mean, new, you know, because that that means somebody has climbed the ladder and now they're going to the other side. Now, now all of a sudden they've got themselves a belt. And I, I almost get giddy when, when I'm handed that, uh, you know, paper from the athletic commission, um, telling me, you know, what the, uh, what, what the deal is. And, and when I see new, man, I, it just sends shivers up my spine. And as I mentioned, people can watch this card on shamrockfightingchampionships.com if they're not in the St. Louis area. Of course, this will be taking place at the River City Casino in St. Louis. Steven, I really do appreciate time, and uh, we'll have to get you back on the show no, uh, down the road, you. man. Absolutely, my friend. I appreciate the uh, appreciate the time and appreciate you.